55 year old woman named Joanne uh, Romaine was alleged to have committed suicide in Michigan, Gross Point, Michigan, um, by walking into a frozen lake. Uh, I'm shaking my head because, oh man, the lake was frozen. I mean, there's ice, there's no current. Apparently the police discovered uh, Joanne's car across four lanes of traffic parked in a church parking lot where she had just uh, attended prayer service and across from her car across four lanes of traffic there was some prints in the snow bank that led down to the river where she walked in and drowned herself um hey as ridiculous as that sounds, it's possible. And what do I mean by that? Well, um, some people have taken their lives in uh, very strange ways. But usually, you will figure that out through victimology. Everything about the victim. The vi I know they said she was not on meds. Um, she was not depressed. And I believe that. Um, but I also know how TV works and they skew it to be a mystery. They leave out a lot of stuff. Uh, that's how they get their ratings. Okay. So I would want to dig into her, her background a little bit more and find out if she was prone to, uh, some, uh, mental health issues, much like Elisa Lamb, uh, victimology solves that very quickly just talk to the family yes she's had these episodes before she thinks she's being chased so on and so forth maybe they left that out of this episode i don't think they did from what i because th I, I watched it and then i researched it a little bit i didn't you know i'm not doing an investigation into this okay this is like a reaction to what i saw and then a quick research to uh to verify what i saw and from what I saw through victimology, she was not prone to any of that. Um, so what happened? Did she kill herself by drowning herself in a frozen lake? Uh, again, it's possible, but it's not probable. So what did happen? As I explained in other videos, okay, uh, murders occur through essentially three scenarios greed sex or revenge okay i don't believe this was this if she was murdered and i'll tell you at the end what i think if she was i don't believe that it was a sex crime uh, i believe it is either greed or revenge now why do i say that i'm not just arbitrarily saying that see this is again why it's important to back up what you say what the show failed to leave out and I found very interesting is her worth, okay? During the episode, her daughter said something about significant amount of money. Okay, well, that's a very arbitrary statement. A significant amount of money that she was left in a will to some people is $50,000. Other people, maybe it's uh, half a million. Well, in this case... It's 20 million. Let me tell you something, folks. When this amount of money is involved and somebody dies in a mysterious death, you can bet your bottom dollar, pun intended, that it's over money. Greed. Remember what I said greed, sex, revenge. $20 million is what this infighting between the family was about. So initially, before I read that, I was thinking of different scenarios and what possibly could have happened. And if you remember in the episode, she had one of her straps kind of ripped. I didn't really see that on the purse. The chief of police who was very well spoken but he came off very arrogant too but uh he was saying how he believed that it was not 
uh, related to a struggle and the daughter disagreed with that. And I don't know one way or another. There, I couldn't see enough there to agree. But initially I thought carjacking. Why did I think carjacking? Well, it's near Detroit, okay? Detroit is known for a lot of carjacking. She's driving a Lexus, okay? Very expensive car. I thought me in the, in the alarm going off and somebody heard the alarm going off. So I could have vision initially, you know, her coming out of the church, getting into her car, which she just filled up with gas, by the way, if that means anything to you about suicide. Um, why would somebody that's going to commit suicide fill the car with gas? Well, maybe she didn't have a plan and she decided why she was in the church praying to commit suicide. See how I can think about both sides of the story here. But anyhow, I thought carjacking, Lexus, it's possible, but <laughs> they didn't take the car. So <laughs> I guess that rules out the carjacking, right? Uh, but it could have been a robbery attempt, trying to get her purse, something to that effect. But then I read about the $20 million. Um, So you have to deduce what? Exactly possibilities to probabilities so it's not a carjacking because the car wasn't taken what evidence is there well um these footprints that were in the snow okay they didn't look like footprints to me now maybe unsolved mysteries is showing crappy photographs on purpose maybe the police have better photographs of the footprints going down and slid into the snow. I didn't see it, okay? I, I gotta be honest with you. I didn't see it. It was something, yes. Um, but unless I saw a better picture and had a, you know, a shoe print expert look at it, I, I wouldn't be comfortable saying that those are footprints one way or another. But in my opinion, what I saw, it was not. So what was it? I don't know. It could have been anything. It could have been an animal. For, as far as, oh, it could have been Joanne. Sure. I, I don't know because I just haven't seen. But I've worked a lot of equivocal deaths. Now, what's an equivocal death? An equivocal death is undetermined. You don't know if it's accident. You don't know whether it's suicide, it's natural, or it's homicide. I, I've worked more of those than any cases. I, I did one for a senator one time and he was adamant his daughter did not commit suicide and when i looked at it it was clear cut clear cut suicide i probably never investigated a suicide that was more clear cut than this but families don't want to believe that okay and i get it i get it so i look at it through that lens and i can see how Families just don't don't want to believe it. But in this case, I think um, the family might be right. Uh, I, and talking about crazy ways of killing yourself, uh, I had I also looked at a case where an end of a family hired me because they believed he was murdered, and yeah, I came to the conclusion he killed himself by drinking. Um, antifreeze. So people kill themselves many different ways. So how are we getting any closer to solving this? I won't fear of